My life is amazing. <laughs> but I'm gonna complain about a bunch of stuff right now. It's like, I'm coming down off of some amazing, wonderful times, and life in and of itself is beautiful and great, but that doesn't mean that you can't just like vent a little bit. One, it's 93 degrees inside my apartment right now. It's so hot. My apartment does not have AC. Uh, it has a heater. I almost feel like my landlord was like swindled. Why would you install central heat in a city that doesn't go below 70 even during a cold spell? Long story short, it's 101 degrees outside but with winter fresh gum. Anybody remember those? Me neither. Long story short, it's 101 degrees outside. I open up every window to try and create a cross breeze. No. I turn on a fan, the fan just falls over and dies. So anyway, that's just the heat. I gotta let it go. It's hot, it's too hot. I gotta drink a lot of water and maybe lay down inside my refrigerator somehow, which would be great. I would love to do that. Okay, it's too hot inside, just go out. Well, guess what? I slipped just Long story short, about five, almost six years ago in college, we were playing slosh ball and somehow in my enthusiasm or in my friend's drunken pitching, which now that I come to think about it, we shouldn't have been playing with hard balls at all. Anyway, long story short, my friend threw the ball, it hit me in my left knee, there was like a crack and I was like, shit. Mm, oh well. And this is like, I'm reflecting on this now and it's like I can see it in black and white and it's just me listening to the doctor who's like, make sure you build up strength in your left leg again because after this injury, your body's gonna wanna favor your right side and that could really lead you to some lower back problems and you might even slip a disc. And then I can just, I can see my 21, 22 year old self going, mm-hmm, what? So point being, I obviously didn't do anything until recently uh, when I went to my doctor and I was like, I got allergies. And now that I got health insurance and money, can you make it so I can breathe through my nose? Cause that would be great. So I'm in there getting allergy stuff, everything's very normal and cool. And I'm like, hey, one other thing. Um, I have like chronic pain in my left leg and also it goes numb sometimes. And also sometimes when I'm asleep, I get shooting pain in my leg that wakes me up. Is that cool? And he was like, hell no, that's not cool. So then I go to a physical therapist who's like, whoa, you have no muscle in your left butt cheek. And also you have no muscle around your left knee. You gotta start doing these tiny minute exercises 20 minutes a day. This was like in May, by the way. And we can make sure that you build up that muscle so you don't slip a disc or something. And I was like, sure. I didn't do any physical therapy at all. Instead, I went on tour, danced on stages, and just lived my life so young and happy and free. Until I stepped off that curb in San Francisco, and then I was like, whatcha? Long story short, I went to the doctor today. He was like, cool, cool, how does this feel? And I was like, how does what feel? And he's like, this. And I was like, what? And he was like, this. And he's been touching my left leg, and I was like, guess it feels like nothing. So basically, it means this. Whoops. Shit. Here's how my very smart, awesome, totally super rad doctor dude described what's going on in my lower back. Your vertebrae are like graham crackers and your disc in between your vertebrae is like a marshmallow. So basically it's the gentle pillow of compression that your vertebrae rest on while they move around and do life. So the marshmallow of the disc in my back is squished and maybe slipped out a little bit and so it pushes on the surrounding nerve which creates something like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need a pencil. You know? Long story short, my disc is slipped, it's pushing on some nerves and I guess it's actually been slipped for a long time. How was I supposed to know that? I'm not a doctor. My doctor actually knows me so well that he wrote a note on the follow-up procedures that literally just says, don't do something if it hurts. To which I applied, interesting perspective. Maybe it can be applied to life. Are you currently doing something that hurts? Stop, you don't have to. Anyway, 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 I've said anyway like a thousand times. This sucks, it's hot. Anyway, long story short, everything hurts. I'm wearing orthopedic shoes right now. However, here is my gentle reminder to me. Go get the MRI, do everything, the physical therapist and the muscle doctor tells you to do every day. And even if it's annoying, like I really don't wanna spend the next 20 minutes, you know, going like this. I do love dancing and I do wanna dance and we've got another no filter tour coming up at the end of October. So anyway, that's it. That's the message of the video I've decided. It's A to C association. If you don't wanna do something but it's good for you, you should do it and think about the end result. Remember we talked about this in the video, how to be productive? 
eat vegetables, B is be healthy, C is, you know, have sex all the time. I don't know. For me, it's A, do very boring, tiny, tiny, minute physical therapy exercises. B, prevent permanent nerve damage in your left leg, which is already weak and has already lost sensation. So the MRI will really tell us how much nerve damage we can prevent. C, dance at my wedding. Dance in life, dance down the street, dance on stage, dance, 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 dance. I love dancing. So yeah, I gotta do the boring stuff, okay? Hey anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for listening to my site and my vlog. It's like the set, I mean, it's just so much vlogging. You guys are the best. Thank God for you. Oh yeah, subscribe to my channel if you like this video. It's not usually the type of videos I do, but subscribe. Also click like, also leave a comment in the comments below about a way you trick yourself into doing something that's good for you. Or complain, I don't know, whichever, whatever makes you happy. Have a great day. Mwah.